No, I just don't deserve it. Strolling around the Ohio farm where he was born, Armstrong is easy to talk to but hard to know. He can seem guarded, but above all, we were struck by his humility. You sometimes seem uncomfortable with your celebrity, that you'd rather not have all of this attention. No, I just don't deserve it. But look, how many people have walked on the moon? Twelve? Mm -hmm. You were the first. You were chosen to do that. That's special. Yeah, I wasn't chosen to be first. I was just chosen to command that flight. Circumstance put me in that particular role. Then. After Apollo 11, Armstrong hung up his spacesuit and never felt the need for an encore. For eight years, he taught engineering at the University of Cincinnati, surely their only professor who'd walked on the moon. In the midst of all your professional achievements, you managed to get married, to have a family. Was it a difficult balance for you to maintain both sides of your life? The one thing I regret was that my my work required an enormous amount of my time and a lot of travel and I didn't get to spend the time I would have liked with my family as they were growing up. Armstrong has two sons with his wife of 38 years, Janet, who divorced him in 1994. He remarried several years ago. In the autumn of his life, he lives very much in the present, refusing to let his famous deed define him. He's made a comfortable living serving on corporate boards, but even in retirement, he keeps a watchful eye on the space program and would like to see it restored to its glory days. Did you ever imagine that five years after first going to the moon that we'd abandon the Apollo program? I knew we would have a, a limited life, but I must say it, it was a bit shorter than my expectation. I fully expected that by the end of the century we would have achieved substantially more than we actually uh, did. And why do you think we didn't? When we lost the competition, we lost the public will to continue.